that changed my life it was what happened the day she came back to Paris. Good morning guys. If you told me that I always make sure that I'm like glamorous and dressed up at any occasion, that's not true. I opened my eyes, I brushed my teeth, I didn't even brush my hair, okay? Then I came down for breakfast because I need to do some work and because I am dying for coffee. It's a really annoying music in the lobby, so I'll update you back in the room. Just quickly wanted to show you the pastries. Oh my god, the croissant is that bad? There's so much. Wow, look at this. Sticky buns. Wow, wow, wow. There's so much choice that it's almost too much, you know? I'll try this as well, granola mostly. It's almost too much in terms of like decision making. Guys, we just received this from the hotel. Today is the day. A driver's waiting outside. Do you want to try one of these bowls, baby? No, no, it's fine. Or a muffin? No, I'm good because no I really... Sugar. Is it a no sugar day? No, it's a no sugar. Uh, but you know what we're going to do now? No, baby. Now we're going to tell them about our first date because today is the last day of Vlogmas that Filippo and I will be together because I'm leaving to Dubai today. So sit down and let's do it. We promised you to tell you the story of the first date. We did. Basically when the magic happened, sort of in a way, right? Yes. Okay, so the meeting was at 9 p.m. Yep. And I remember that uh, Filippo, like, I'm always, always very punctual. And I arrived at 9.00 and you were already there sitting, waiting for me. Absolutely. And now that's our table. We decided to meet, well, you asked me to come to Hotel Cost, which is usually like a common place for sort of like meetings. No, no, wait. I didn't ask you to come to Hotel Cost. I asked you to come to Cost. Restaurant, yeah. Yeah. So but, you came, yeah. as you said, you were very on time. Yes. At 9, which is super important yeah because i'm never late and i don't understand people late everybody okay. in every video people are asking if you're a virgo i am virgo but uh, I, I mean yeah I, I don't like to be late when yes. i go to the airport i Same. go early two we hours both like before this. i relax at the lounge no stress i don't want to be disrespectful so i always on time and I was there at nine at 8.45 because I, I think that it's a man has to be there before yeah. the lady arrive, of course, to not uh, create any uncomfortable situation, you know, for, the situation for the lady oh, to be so there gentle, alone. Right? So I was there, you arrived and I remember you were wearing this, um, that now she's a friend of, uh, of us, Ronnie yeah, jumpsuit, Ronnie uh, I was wearing the leather, brown, leather, yeah. leather jumpsuit, it was beautiful. So I saw you, I was like, I was wow. wearing like straight hair, I just had it cut. Beautiful. And then uh, she's, we started dinner. I was a bit uncomfortable. Yeah? Yeah, because, you know, it's I'm not... Uh, Someone that goes on dates. No, no I don't. You told me that. I don't. I don't. I don't go for dinners with... Uh, I mean, sometimes it happens, you know, with clients, with uh, PR, with the But that's like a meeting. Uh, but it's always a meeting and I always try to do breakfast. Breakfast is the best. Yeah, Lunch coffee, is also yeah. very good. But anyway, so we have this dinner. Can I just say my expectations from yes. the date? First of all, I wasn't sure. I thought it was like a, maybe a meeting because it could have been. You know, like it was not really defined that it's a date. Yeah. And um, I arrived and I remember being scared of just one thing that he's going to want to sort of like show off because at this point I already knew that you did many impressive things in your career until that moment. And I didn't want to arrive there and hear a lot of bragging and like, oh, I did this and I did that and this person I know and that person. You know what I mean? I really, really dislike when people brag, especially because I have experience with men who show off, but on a super un found it but you know like there's no even a background to it like they just pretend brag and I'm just I'm so tired of men who are like okay she's an influencer she has a lot of followers I'll impress her by bragging you know yeah yeah but it's okay and um, and you were not like that at all no. like you sat down and you were super modest and honest yeah so we start you know talking and it was I mean I was very comfortable in a way because it was uh, already you know you know sometimes you go to dinner and you have to entertain people and you have to talk you did talk and, a lot. Yeah, I did, but it was, I felt like uh, it was, you know, one to one. Like I was talking, you were talking. There was not a, like a silent moment because let's face it, I'm loud mm -hmm. and you are even louder. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk, we make jokes, we have fun. We, we are both ent entertain we people. We are loud people, you know, we don't, 
uh, I mean, uh, it's funny because where I consider myself a loud person, the way I look is loud, the way I, I joke, the way I entertain anyone, I have no shame when it comes on uh, a, a table of 20 people I don't know, I just sing a song if I have to, you know? I think I'm the same. Yeah, yeah, you are. So the two of us together, it's like a big, uh, <laughs> big deal. But... Um, so it was very organically nice dinner. Uh, what I do remember is that we didn't eat, which is super weird because when I sit, especially during fashion week, I sit at cost, which is where I am most of the time. Mm -hmm. I sit and I, if I don't have the bread in a sec, I'll I get a little Same. bit. But I think the most important thing for me to say is that after half an hour of this date, yeah. I told you, I kind of, he was talking and talking and talking. And then after all this talking, I just interrupted him and I said, I'm sorry, I just want to say I like you. So I would like to understand if you also like me. Because that's big, when I understood immediately which was that a I like him. Uh, a big question because I immediately understood after half an hour that I like him as a man that I'm attracted to him that I like his personality because you know you don't really understand someone's personality when they're always like entertaining and funny and stuff but when you sit one to one and this person is very honest sincere telling you about his life how he started how like the beginnings in a very modest way I like immediately understood that I love you L love you Probably mm. also. No, yeah, okay. I immediately understood that I like you and yeah. I told you, listen, I like you. I didn't. Yeah, I know. I didn't. So basically I told him, listen, I would like to say that I like you. So I would like to understand if you also like me because I still wanted to understand if this was a date. But his face like dropped. Yeah, shock. it did drop because, uh, you know, I didn't go to uh, dinner with you because uh, I was looking for a wife and the mother of the, no? of the kids that I, you know. I don't what were have. you looking for? I was looking for an evening with a very beautiful girl and very interesting because you you show me already your character at the, the party. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's fashion week, it's Paris, I want to spend some good time with a very interesting people, with a very interesting person, with a person I'm interested about her job, her personality, and then you know what, as we said before, it could have been one night stand. It could have been uh, anything. It could have been that you are the woman of my life and... Uh, but it couldn't have been a one-night stand. No, it could have been the because day Because I made it very clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, you made it very clear that it was not going to happen. Nobody asked, by the way. Nobody asked, but, but uh, I still like. But she was feeling like, okay, let's show this guy that this night nothing is going to happen. She did it. She no, said it. No, just, you know why? Not because, like, whatever reason. But because I didn't want, I really liked you and I didn't want to have an awkward situation where you like walk me home and then you were like, can I come upstairs? My, so anyway, yeah. like I, I, I put it on the table. I said, I like you. He said to me, but hold on, I don't even know you. And uh, he said, but kind of, you know, I'm not sure. And then I said, okay, like that's no problem because like we can remain friends, you know? She was already putting the, head, the, the, the hands I had, you know, which is typical of people that they are wanna put things clear. I'm the opposite. I don't. I really not interested in what's gonna happen. But what I wanted to say is, that I, I was said, like, listen, uh, I, I said I like you, and you were like, wait, I don't know you, blah blah blah. And then I said, no problem. Like you were like, you know, I'm kind of, uh, I'm not sure. I'm looking for something, and I was like, no worries, we can stay friends because I clearly really like you as a person, and I'm not really looking for yeah, anything, was, uh, but, but yeah. we can stay friends. And then you said. I don't want to be friends. Do you no. remember? You yeah, were like... I don't say I don't want to be friends. I said I don't need friends. Yeah, you were like... Uh, so I was like, so then I understood the But course. anyway, it was already clear that she was already like... Uh, and... Um, and also, and, like, you were like, oh, I'm not so sure. But you were the one texting me all the time, calling me all the time. I was, but it doesn't matter. You know, I don't, have to, I, don't, I don't have to feel any kind of pressure. I want to text you 10 times a day. I text you 10 times a day. But that doesn't mean anything. It was a day one. Man. We just met, you know, what do you yeah. want? But anyway, we had a beautiful dinner. Nothing happened that night. I walked to your hotel, yeah. which was very close. It yeah. was in Cambon, so very close to to Hotel Cost, where we had dinner. Which we didn't eat. Which we didn't eat. He gave me some chocolates and he put some chocolates in my bag. Yeah, from the cost that you still have. And then, uh, good night, like a kiss kiss uh, in the hotel. And then I went home. The day after, I had a showroom. I had a beautiful night. You texted me. I texted you on the way when I was home. I think I came home at like 1, 2 a.m. And then I texted you and I said, I want to see you tomorrow morning as well because yeah. I knew she was leaving and I couldn't spend it. It was Saturday when we had dinner. And then the day after was, of course, Sunday, but I couldn't stay with her anytime. No, no, I was leaving the day after that. Could yeah, be, you know? yeah, I was leaving yeah. But uh, what I'm saying is that I couldn't spend any time with her anyway because I had 
a 9 a.m. appointment in the showroom. I was at my previous company and the showroom was really behind Cambon. So I went there at like 8 to spend an hour with you and have uh, breakfast. Also nothing happened that day. And, um, and then I went to work and then from that day we stayed in touch. I basically was going home that day. I had lots of work lined up and so did Philippe when like different things were happening. And then we stayed on the phone for three months texting every single day. Yeah. FaceTiming every single but, day. But I learned everything about you there was to learn. Yeah, but the thing, the mo- honestly, I'm not teasing. The most important thing that I tell to all my close people that changed my life, it was what happened the day she came back to Paris to spend a week with me after but I three think months. That we should say in another video. No, 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 I'm, I'm saying I'm very sorry because we really need to go. It's like, uh, we, we really need to go because Imagine. we are going to the to the final and I have so much stress. I have so many things to, was to do. was worried about late. But, but uh, what is like one No, no, thing? there is one thing that I promise we'll tell you the next video and it's not a teasing because I want to make it, I want to tell you the story as, as it was. Tamara did something that no, no one of you will believe, but she did it. And that was a proof of so many things. And I promise when I'll tell you, you will all say, wow, that woman is something else. But I tell you next time. I promise I will. Ciao. Maybe we need to go. But maybe I just want to ask you one question. What yes. was the one thing that at that first date made you think that you like me? No, no, your personality. Of course, your personality and your style. Personality. Style and personality. Uh, you haven't seen my outfit. It's my new silk pajama from LV. I love it so much. I collect these, you guys know that. We are going to get coffee, then we're going to pick up the tickets and the car pass. And then we get we will get quite early, I think, to the stadium to kinda like see the a little bit of atmosphere. After that match and me heading back to the airport. <laughs> thinking about our first date it made me to understand one very important thing what is the most the thing that attracted me to you the most which is there's like that and then 10 empty spaces your confidence i think you're very confident but do you think why do you think that is i think that my mom i'm a very mommy mommy guy no yeah. baby you're not at Oh, do you know what it means, a mommy, mommy no. guy? Someone who like calls his mom to ask for opinion on everything. Ah, uh, no, no, zero, zero. The, the, no, you, no. Your also, mom calls I left, you and you're also, like, what do you want? You know what my sister says? No. You left your family at the age of six. Eleven, she told me. <laughs> she said eleven. Yes. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not good at all. But okay, I'm a mommy guy in the meaning that my mom is my biggest example. Mm-hmm. And I grow up uh, with her telling me that uh, two things. First one, that women are the best. They have to be protected, they have to be loved, they have to be done. I love your mom is the Second best. Second one, how much uh, she loved me. Like my mother loved me, baby, you saw her. Yes. Like I'm her life. But she's full and, of love, uh, your mom. And you like, know, and you know like who can, annoying, and you know? know who can love so much? Only confident people can give that much love. Because to be calm, my mother, she loves herself. She thinks she's the best. <laughs> you know, she's like, uh, but, but only when you get that point, you can love someone else. That's my opinion. Like she loves without so putting she, other people she down. She loves herself so much. And she told me every day how beautiful I am. How amazing oh, I am. Beautiful. No, no, but you know I'm mommy. And she told me every day, every day. At some point, she convinced me. Really? But yeah, you know, when, you know- when the person you love the most tells you, that she loves you, that you are amazing, that mm-hmm. at some point you grow up thinking, well, it must be true. That's why it's important as a mother, as a father to support yeah. always your kids, no matter what, because uh, they, they, you, they will grow up thinking, wow, it's true. You know, when know. they my, tell you- My parents always told but me it's that like it maybe, can be better. Maybe it's like in fashion. Okay, now I say something maybe not very popular, but when they tell you you're cool once, you're cool twice, you're cool three times. And then everybody say you're cool. At some point, you will convince yourself that, that you're, you're cool. cool. So if I've been told all my life, you're cool, you're cool, I like your style, I like your style, I like your style, uh, then at some point, you just admit it to yourself, mm-hmm. no? And you say, okay, maybe I am. But don't cool. you think I have a better style? No, no, no. I think you're more, like way more beautiful mm-hmm. than me, but I'm the cool one. Oh. But you have a very, very cool style. 
but I have to say that I do think that the parents are partly responsible for giving the kind of confidence to no, baby, for the sure. children because for the first on our first date the first question I asked you do you remember no you don't remember the first question I asked you mm -hmm. what is your relationship like uh, with your mom with... yeah yeah it's true because I have had experience are we getting in a tunnel or no there is how can they be long tunnel in uh, in Doha why not where into the through the dunes Maybe because on the top there's cars going, so to create more lanes. No, maybe a tunnel mm. where there is no connection is mm. only through mm. the mountain or through the ocean. Anyway, I had experience in the past with men that don't have great relationships with their mother, and that was just the worst because I do think that when a man doesn't love his mother, it's very hard to love another woman baby, figure in his life. But, baby, but that's a tricky. Baby I don't is know. Also true. Look, we have all different stories. We can't, I think we can't generalize. Some people, I know some people that they didn't have a good relationship with their mother because, you know, we don't choose our parents. So I got super lucky. But some other Me guys- too. I got super lucky. My yeah, mom is the best. But some other people didn't. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, yesterday I was telling you something. Do you remember that uh, some people like you uh, turn the bad in the good? Like, look how you react. You come from the war, uh, you got robbed, uh, everything happened, but you always know how to turn it on the, on the right side. That's like your country did. You know, look Serbia, look Belgrade. Belgrade is one of the happiest place I have ever been. Party, happy people, always with a smile, always ready to party. But if you think what happened to you guys in the 90s, it was one of the biggest, biggest disaster, human disaster in the world. But look at you. You go to Belgrade, it's like to go to Brazil. Everybody dance, everybody happy, everybody drinks, everybody is fun. So not everyone, I think you have in your DNA that you, you know, when we were talking yesterday, you remember about to go to a therapy when you, you have uh, like a trauma, right? We were talking in general yeah. about, about a friend that started therapy because uh, he found out that he had uh, a trauma when he was young. So we were saying how important it is to go to therapy when the trauma is affecting your life. But some people have trauma and that trauma, it push you in a good way yeah. to achieve things, I to become a better person. You know, some people, they, I don't know, they lose a, a dog, right? And then they cannot live anymore Will without you, that dog. I'm so sorry to interrupt, but we started talking about our, about your relationship with your mother and now we're on a therapy about someone who lost a dog. Yes, that's uh, the beauty did, of uh, talking. Guys, that's what happens when I don't interrupt Filippo. He can talk forever and you can go from topic to topic, you know that. But it's a talent, it's a special talent. If I can listen to you for five days. Yes. You've been listening to me for three years, it's a bit, bit longer. Um, I just wanted to say that I think that it all depends what kind of tools you have inside of you to deal with certain situations. We all have tools. Some people just have better tools than the other. For example, to deal with life, to deal with trauma, to be more like, uh, I don't know, like uh, for example, business oriented. Some people have better tools than the others, you know? Yeah. Wow, this is so beautiful, this part. Right? Yeah. Look at that. I love it. I'll show you guys. So Anyway, what I didn't tell you is that like from tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I will be sort of on starting to get into the holiday mood and my body is starting to give up on me. I'm starting to feel a little bit sick today. I still haven't got my phone back. Yeah. That's a problem, but um, we'll see. I'm going to pick up the tickets and the car pass in the middle of nowhere. It's really actually quite adventurous, I have to say. I like it. We're currently in some kind of like a private lounge gorgeous currently searching for some home stuff this is vogue arabia by the way this is a london uh, home of uh, his highness inside the world of most charismatic homes wow guys let's test uh, let's test Filippo on his favorite phil do you know who's this of course oh. <laughs> if somehow one thing i have to say is that now we're waiting for something and it was just so hard not to like lean on your shoulder right yeah I have to sit here and mind my own business and be like a very respectful wifey 
right? Yeah. I haven't seen this. It's Damien Hurst. And we are going to, I don't know, Luis Sal Stadium. I think, ah, oh, this is Education City. Okay. Look at this. I always wonder what is this? Katara Towers. Ah, oh, I've been here. Little Venice. This is the Pearl. That's where Hermes is apparently. Haven't been. Then we have, of course, the cause. That's it. This is the what I tried to show you yesterday. It's the fire station. I, what I love about Qatar is that there's actually a lot of art in here, and it's not that big. Mm -hmm. This is M. What is it called? M7. Yeah, Mashrib. Where is Mashrib? I just saw it. Ah, uh, this is the National Museum of Qatar. We've been there together. This is Mashrib or M7. Souk Wafouf, Wakif. I've been there. Actually, I think I've been to this restaurant. In fact, no, no. I've been to Falcon Souk. That's the Souk I've been to. Wow, I've been. I actually visited most of the most of the neighborhoods. You know, Phil. I haven't been to Katara Cultural Village. Maybe next time. But this time, I haven't had a chance to breathe. Honestly. Yeah. Let's see. Show me. Here we go. Block two thirteen. I love when I'm row K. It's my initial. And then we have the car pass nice but can i see the tickets yes because this is the real deal no are they that's, original that's are they the fake real, that's the real deal i want to see does it open no okay are we ready to go guys we are okay guys we were we just grabbed our tickets it was quite nice actually i had the best food since i've arrived same, in qatar same. Right? and we also ran into my friend now in front that was very random no so random i love that's that so <laughs> random while Philippe was taking a picture of me, we ran into him, so we're now all together coming to the game. It's gorgeous. so gorgeous, especially and in the this night time is of all day. Yellow. You know that. I love how like it shines with the sun. It's beautiful. We yes. are going to the stadium, and we're very excited. I mean, Tammy doesn't really love this kind of events, right? Too many people. Mm, I think it's I, like this is a moment in history, no? It is, it is. Who do you support, Phil? No, we don't say, we don't say. We well, support both. We look, support both. I'm gonna both. say, of course, okay. I love France, but I think they won last time. So it's fair that Argentina wins and Laurent is French. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you think it's fair? I always think like, it's fair that everybody wins once, you know? It's kind of more, no? Yeah. Nice, like to everybody, right? Yeah. Laurent, no? No. <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to Yeah, win. exactly. <laughs> I'm an athlete. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that, no? Okay. It doesn't. <laughs> well, you know, I think what's important is to participate. A lot. No? No, no. I think it is important to participate. Baby, winning is not... Uh, the most important thing it's, it's the baby, only it's one that is the only one that counts baby, do you I understand think, i think you should know how important it is to participate having been italian baby, baby, and baby, not participated baby, baby winning is not the most important thing no is the only baby. one that counts is that true 100 percent. and apparently i'm the competitive one yep <laughs> So think about that. Think about how competitive they are if I'm the competitive one. Guys, that's it. It's night. We're heading off to Dubai. Unfortunately, the driver brought me to the wrong airport. So now I'm waiting for him to come back so we can go to the right airport. These things happen, I guess. Luckily, I had enough time because I was smart about it. I'm just a little bit tired because it was a long day and it's gonna get even longer, but it's all fine. I'm gonna watch some videos. I have some downloaded already on my YouTube app. I told you I have a bit of like a throat pain. But I got my best friend and uh, yeah, we'll see. Can't wait to also like be reunited with my sister in a few hours time. Okay guys, we made it to the airport. The right one, believe it or not. I feel like I'm 150 years old <laughs> right now, but it's okay. My flight's one hour delayed, so it's gonna be quite late. It's okay because I always have a lot to do, so I can just edit my work, 
some TikToks, some pictures, and all that good stuff. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Guys, we arrived. It's like 2 a.m. I don't really vlog much because I went to see my mom my sister, my nephews, my brother-in-law, they were not sleeping. But I'm going now back to bring some stuff home. So, Filippo is still in Doha. What you guys don't know, oh wow, the music is gonna be loud, right? To be continued. We made this to the room. First thing that Tamara does when she comes to a hotel, I think you all know it, right, by now. Are actually staying at the one and only Royal Mirage. I've stayed here before and I really love the hotel. I love that it's like white and clean and easy. <sighs> Outfit is well what I went to the game in plus obviously a hoodie because it was like minus degrees on the plane. Today was a day with so many feelings and so many so 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 many excitements as we were heading to the match i told you already like i i'm not like someone who's like supporting a team or like you know once serbia and croatia were out i was kind of not really biased anymore so for me personally i was happy with either of the team winning but i thought it was quite nice because france won last time you know that's just my way of thinking but the atmosphere guys you cannot even imagine the Argent you cannot even talk how loud it was the argentinian supporters i've never seen anything like that in my life it was incredible so i couldn't really even even talk at the stadium or vlog anything i don't even think it was really quite appropriate because there was so much vibe but uh, i inserted some clips that you've seen i'm actually it's 2 a.m by the way i don't know if i told you i'm a bit peckish mm. this is so cute and that's basically it what a day that's all i can say so grateful for this experience also to qatar creates and um they really like treated us so well we got such an incredible incredible hospitality an incredible experience for me it was like 10 out of 10 that's all i can tell you now my sister actually gave me my charger this is my camera charger so i need to put it charged tonight i told you a new one on amazon did i order the wrong thing I ordered batteries, but not the charger. Please tell me this is the charger. Oh my god, thank you god, like this is it. Okay, I can charge. So, charger for my batteries. And she also brought me, I received some gorgeous gifts from Burberry, as well as from Selfridges. And she also brought me my, oh no, this is something new. I think you'll see this tomorrow, it's a bit late now, 2am. But I wanted to say thank you so much for watching, for following along, for all of your beautiful comments. I think like I'm getting so many comments that this vlogmas is your favorite one ever. And it means so much to me because I feel like we've built such a strong relationship where I can really be myself and I can just show you what I do. And I don't need to like do too much, but I can kind of like keep it very talky and friendly and we have a good time together, which means a lot to me. So... Your girl's gonna have a shower now and gonna go sleep. I'll see you in the morning, okay? Tomorrow is a family day and I couldn't be happier. Bye, guys.